Zenobia, is she the next ultimate commander in Rise of Kingdoms? Well, let's get our wallets out and see how much we got. I do, well, I, actually, I do have a $100 bill. Is that enough for Zenobia? <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a Mightiest Governor event commander. MGE, you're gonna have to compete. You're gonna use your speed ups. You're going to be using your resources to obtain Zenobia, let's find out, is she actually worth obtaining? Or maybe you can skip her and go get another commander. Or maybe you can just invest on an older commander. Zenobia, is she worth MGE to you? Let's find out. I'm Shinchi42. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to do so. And if you want to play this game on your computer, we have a link on the description. Download Bluestacks now and play Rise of Kingdoms on PC. If you want to check out full text guides and talent trees, go to rok.guide slash Zenobia. As you can see, it is a great posting here by rok.guide. And as you can see, we also have some talent trees suggested from rok.guide as well. Make sure to check it out. It's a very good detailed guide and commander pairings as well, and as well as, as equipment. We're also going to talk about my suggestion for commander pairings. So Zenobia is a commander that has a ability to heal her own troops and other commanders. If it's expertise, she can heal two allied units with the lowest health. And as she heal, the troops that are being healed will also gain a 40% bonus of health at the maxed level. This is actually a great and insane type of skill for Ark of Osiris, the Shadow Legions event. Now, it is also great if you are defending a structure till the end. Healing those troops will allow you to stay in that location. Sometimes heal is crucial in rise of kingdoms if you want to delay things now considering healing would also result to more deaths so as we already learned in rise of kingdoms if you're using richard in the beginning you accumulate more deaths because as the troops get healed they fight again then what happens when your troops fight again right so it accumulates into the hospital get more deaths because they're fighting for you to succeed. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the other things about Zenobia. Honestly, in my opinion, this healing is not that bad, right? Now, what I notice with Zenobia is that she really has a lot of passive buff. As you can see in here, normal attack damage bonus, normal attack damage reduction. If you guys don't know what a normal attack means, let me explain this to you coming from the devs. What it has said in here, normal attack is basic attack. This is not a counter attack. These are two types of attack are different. So normal attack is not considering a counter attack. Keep that in mind. That's what the dev says. Now, if you're looking into infantry attack bonus, now this one, it's going to help normal attack and counter attack okay so normal attack it's going to be whoever she is targeting so that's why she is going to benefit but regardless of that the bonus of attack total when she is a garrison commander and leading infantry it would be about 45 percent as you can see 15 percent from here 20 percent here and then another 10 percent that's 45 percent of damage insane right now Normal attack damage reduction. So this is, again, it's only going to be the attack, the, the incoming attack. So the counter attack is not being reduced here, all right? 15% of incoming attack is being reduced by 15%. And as you know, if you're leading with infantry, this is pretty much straightforward, 20% health bonus. Now, this is actually insane, this skill. Pluralistic reign. I can't believe that I have able to pronounce that difficult word that's actually a very difficult word to say but 
While this commander is leading the garrison of own city on a stronghold, the attack of the troops led by this commander have a 10% chance to deal an extra damage per second to the target troop. Keep in mind, for 3 seconds, this skill, damage per second effect, can trigger once every 5 seconds. So, key thing in here is 3 seconds. So you gotta multiply that 600 times 3. So what is that? That's about 1800 damage my math my math's correct i think so come on can't be asian if i can't do my little mat in here so not only that she has a lot of damage man 1800 damage additional damage factor right it's crazy now what's gonna happen with that is that the attack in here this this should really help with the damage that she's going to do in here now keep in mind it's a 10 percent chance but when you're garrisoning what happens with the garrison sometimes it takes hours and hours of defending meaning your 10 percent chance is you know you're getting a lot of chance to get this chance does that even make sense it's pretty crazy right so <laughs> she is she is a wonderful commander first of all she's got really strong dps she has good um reduction of attack 15 percent and she's just increasing the health this is a, a very raw stat base in my opinion she's a great commander now the question is will she be able to stop attila takeda and is she going to be better than theodora in my opinion i think it's a good pair to have theodora and zenobia i my suggestion i would rather go with a theodora primary and then zenobia secondary i'm not a huge fan of the support tree i prefer the defensive tree although you have to compensate right you will have to compensate because in a talent tree you will not have the infantry talents but that's okay if you are looking into the leadership pad let's take a look into here you don't necessarily need to work onto this but you can right you can have mixed troops with the adora as a primary so if you're looking into Theodora as a primary, it could work. You can start sending siege units in there, other types of units, because the condition for Zenobia's buff does not say only infantry before you get this benefit. So what you can do is you can increase the amount of flux of infantry units, dump some siege in there, and you're not really affecting the entire march there. Now, honestly, you don't need to drop some siege. You just keep it with full infantry if you have the capability. But sometimes, you know, during war, people run out of troops. So sometimes you just maybe you want to have to do siege in there, right? Just as a filler. I mean, siege still do damage. Siege have health, have defense. You might not be the best. You might not get the best report. But if you're trading your siege for a Cavs troops, I'd say it's worth it. So it all depends on your strategy um definitely she has some great raw stat benefit but it, definitely if you're full 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 infantry you get the maximum benefit but honestly i think xenopia is going to be a really great commander um you can pair with wu Tian as well if especially if you're getting rallied by like you know skill commander uh you can do constantine but i, I don't know i don't know constantine is great but like the talent tree for them for both them might, might be a little whack um charles martel you can do YSG, but like it's gonna be super soft. Uh, that's gonna be a soft defender if you do a YSG. You can also do Artemisia. Uh, it's gonna be similar to the concept that we do with Constantine. Uh, you can put it with infantry in there. That's totally fine. Um, the thing here with Artemisia, the only thing that you're not getting a benefit of is this, right? This 20%. I mean, it's huge, but keep in mind, even without this, you will still have four skills available for you this skill this skill this skill and this skill this is an entirely new skill that is actually really great well think about this sometimes four skills it's really just good already it depends on what type of skills they have what i like with this combination is that it's purely packing with freaking damage damage increased by 50 percent you can prevent her from healing with this combination and then it's also there's another normal attack damage reduction wow it's just packing in there and you can just increase that damage it's gonna be a high damage uh garrison honestly and then you're gonna rely on your defensive tree 
from the talent tree to you know keep you alive in the structure now the way i build my artemisia is this way this is a universal troop leading works well works amazing keep that in mind that artemisia also have a 10 percent chance to disarm the target keep that in mind it's huge so the question is will you actually try to obtain zenobia or would i actually even try to obtain zenobia i feel like it's a potential for me to go get Zenobia. I think she has a lot of value, not just for garrisoning structures in war. Um, potentially really like Ark of Osiris is, is a very good deal to do this. But as of right now, I'm not so sure how I'm going to approach with my set of commanders. I'm having really a lot of defensive commanders. I'm potentially probably gonna get Theodora. So um, we will see when time comes. Anyway, let me know what your decision is or what you think about Zenobia. Anyway, if you guys want to check more text guide, go to rok.guide and I will see you again next time.